That's actually a change I kind of like in this, because he didn't actually have a dream like that in the in the book. But it makes sense for like showing Bilbo's um how Bilbo has kind of that little bit of um want for um going on an adventure. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> and actually, if you read the book, you know that Bilbo also has, like, some ancestry. Like, he had some adventurous ancestors. There's a lot you can do here. You can interact with them. And the thing that's kind of annoying about this level... This is the door you want to exit out of. Without my walking stick. And you can interact with stuff. Find your walking stick. Then meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. And, um, no time for that. I need you to never get to go through any dragon other inn. doors. I don't no know why they put that. interact points the at them at the if you can't even go through them. Bungo and Belladonna Baggins. A hobbit couldn't ask for finer parents. You don't have to look at all this stuff, but I just think it's kind of interesting. I know there's another portrait over here somewhere. There it is. That's my Aunt Linda when she was a child. That's my Aunt Linda. He says different stuff about each of the photos Good and old stuff. Uncle Bingo. Yep. That's my Aunt Belaba. Good old Uncle Ah, cousin Falco. Good old Good old That's my gamma Laura. She was a grub before she married a Baggins. All right. But yeah, you can't Interact with any I don't know why they put interact no points over them. And I thought at the end you'd get to go back to Shire and actually get to do this stuff, but you don't. It's just pointless. Okay, these are courage points. As you pick up courage points, Bilbo's courage meter increases. When Bilbo's courage meter is full, he gains a new unit of health. Courage points can be found in all sorts of hidden places. Explore the land carefully to find them all. Yeah, you can gain new health. You only have three health units right now. Once you fill up that bar over the health units by getting the gems, which are the courage points, then you can, um, you can, uh, get a new health unit. This walking stick is in this chest. So there we go. Meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. Off you go, Mr. Baggins. All right. What's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. Silver pennies. Was that even in the books? Like, do, do they have silver pennies as currency in the Lord of the Rings universe? I don't know. There's our first silver pennies. Ten of them. I know where a lot of stuff is in these first few levels, because I've played the first few levels the most times. I was thinking about Blue Roar 2. You know all about Blue Roarer too, don't you? Of course. He's my great, great, great. He was quite an adventurous hobbit. Won the Battle of the Greenfields, he did. Knocked the Goblin King's head clean off with a blue club. Sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Blue Roarer too. I wish you young people knew more of your histories. Oh, boy. I actually knew that from the book already. It actually describes in the book... Um, Borer took, fought in the Battle of Greenfields, and he swung his club so hard, he knocked, um, Goblin King Golfimble's head clean off, and it sailed a hundred yards through the air and went down a rabbit hole, and thus the battle was won and the game of golf invented at the same time. And I think they, yeah, they did mention it in the movie, and everybody in the theater laughed, I remember that. I, I just love this game. Listen to this music, it's just so great. Just making sure I got everything. Alright. These are save pedestals, you can save at them. Um, I'm gonna save like a... new game. Alright. We'll go up to... Gammer here. Beautiful day, isn't it? Good day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? 
Certainly, Gamma. All right. I'm not going to talk to this guy because he doesn't say anything important, but I will talk to this one. Bilbo Baggins, I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. All right. I'm going to show you guys something a second. I'm going to get her butter churn, but you can look at your quest log here. And you have, like, a collection of quests that you can do. Um, the ones that have, um, like, diamond shape checkboxes next to them, those are quests that you have to do. They are not optional. They are required. Um, the ones with the square boxes next to them, those are optional quests. But I'm gonna try to do all the quests anyway. Just because I like things to be more complete, you can see your items right there I'd tell you guys the controls but depending on what um, version of the game you're playing it's gonna have different controls anyway and you can change the controls on the PC version anyway so I guess it's not gonna make much of a difference um we'll grab this because this is her butter churn that we need All right. Thank you, Bilbo. Have some berry crumble tea cakes. I made them fresh this morning. All right. We need a lot of food on our journey. Like Bilbo said, we'll need a lot of food on our journey. That will become a quest later, even though we can't see it right now. Later, we're gonna have a quest that will require us to get food, and the tea cakes is one of them. So getting that ahead of time actually really helps. And it, one of our controls here is we can sneak. And if we press jump and sneak at the same time, he'll do a pole vault. Like that. Which makes him jump farther than he normally would. So if we jump here, we can get to this roof like that. And walk along it. Oop, almost fell there. Okay. We can walk along here. Just making sure I get all the courage points. I just love this music. Alright. Get that coin. that coin. Coins are important because you can buy like upgrades at the end of each level. Well, the best apples in all Hobbiton are in that apple orchard. I'd get some if I could climb those cliffs. Now apples are another thing that we're going to need at the um for the foods that we need to collect for our journey, which will be a quest that we'll have later on in the level. So we're going to go ahead and get these apples. Right here. We can get the apples by throwing stones at them. Like this. Oops. Missed. Come on. I don't like how it's inverted. The camera's all inverted, but... You have to press... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. It seemed like I was having to press down to go up and up to go down, but I guess not. I don't know why I was thinking that at first. Uh, just ignore me. I'm being stupid. We can carry a total of 10 stones right now, even though we can get a... Um... Rock upgrade later. I'm gonna show you that.
This is our rock bag. We have the small rock bag. We can get bigger rock bags later that'll hold more than ten, but we can only hold ten right now with this rock bag. All right. And you can't jump over fences. They don't let you. 